Okay, okay. Yeah. I know I need to do this. <laughs> and, yeah, well, I do too. I do too. You start off the new year with a uh, sort of digital deep cleaning. Mm, from storage and security <laughs> to sluggish yeah. speeds, consumer reporter Steve Noviello here to help us out get our devices defunct, if you will. <laughs> Steve, help us out. All right, so listen, we deep clean the closets, we edit the kids' toys, we, you know, we edit the kitchen. I'll even wipe on the baseboards every now and again, Ooh. right? But when is the last time you actually gave your digital devices a deep clean? I want to start with email. Nice. Yes, take a look at the video. My inbox is filled with what I like to call delayed decisions, right? Yes, I might need that email from 2014, and it's okay to save it, but here's what you should ditch. I want you to go ahead and sort your inbox by size and get rid of as many of those large attachment emails as you can. Oftentimes, they get duplicated over and over again in a thread, and you really don't need them. Next, I want you to search by a keyword. I like to use a favorite retailer. Get rid of all of those old, thanks for your order, your order's on the way, your order's been delivered, right? Anything you actually need is going to be part of your account when you visit their website. So get rid of the emails. And finally, unsubscribe, but do it carefully. Only click unsubscribe from emails which come from reputable companies which follow unsubscribe protocols. Companies you're not sure of where you're thinking to yourself, gosh, I don't even remember signing up for that. Especially the ones who say, please verify your email to unsubscribe. Don't do it. Block them instead. By verifying your email, what you're doing is telling these folks, yep, this is a live email and maybe I'm going to end up on all these other lists. It's really the equivalent of answering a phone call when it comes in as spam likely. All you're doing is letting them know you got a live fish on the line. Oh, okay. I fell for that one. This is my <laughs> biggest problem. As you likely know, Steve, are my cell phone pictures. <laughs> and I will say, like, I just do you guys have your, them. Do you guys have your phones this morning? Yeah. You wanna, yeah. Should we talk about how, how many pictures you got? Oh, my gosh. Uh, last count, I had 1,500, Does I think. it tell us? 1,500? I'm at 131,561. Oh my, I have 1,200. <laughs> 245, wait, is this just recent? The, yeah, recent. 245,628. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I want you to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. To duplicates? No. Duplicates? What if one is just a little bit better than the other? Do you get, do you get, rid, of, do you get rid of duplicates? I don't get rid of anything. Okay, so here's a couple anything. of things. So I have right now 396 duplicate images on my phone. So I don't need them, right? You so might. do that at home, go ahead, go to go to duplicates click merge and it will get rid of anything that happen that appears twice on your cell phone you don't need two copies of the same thing the other thing i want you to do is go ahead and go to all those burst photos, right? Yes, when you're taking pictures of your kids blowing out their birthday candles, you use the burst function because you want that one perfect shot. But how often do you go back in and then edit out the 27 photos that you don't need, right? Keep one, get rid of 26, and increase your storage and speed. Okay, duplicates, 4,000. What? Where, where do you, okay, I didn't even. Okay, there's a merge function. We, we're going to get rid of essentially 2,000 photos on your phone. All right. All right. So, and, and Lauren and I were just talking about this because they had a playoff game. <laughs> you have four. <laughs> See, I'm good at this. Yes. Brandon. Yes. Um, we were talking about this because there was a playoff game on the Peacock Network, yes. and you get the, yes. you sign up for this free trial subscription. Whether you keep it or not, yep. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> here's my not. here's my favorite hack. I think that a lot of us think I'm going to set up for the free trial, and I'm going to go into my phone. I'm going to mark on the calendar one day before I have to pay for it is when I'm going to go in, and I'm going to cancel. So forget all of that, right? Here's the secret, guys. When you go to do the free trial, you can then immediately go into subscriptions on your phone, right? And we've got some video of this. Go into subscriptions, and you can go and cancel your free trial immediately. It doesn't override access to the free trial. Look, you're, I still have access, right? All it does is says, I'm canceling now. That way I don't have to worry about it in two weeks when I do or do not forget to cancel to make sure that I don't get charged. So go ahead and do it as soon as you download it if you really think you're just going to use the free trial and not actually uh, it's not actually something you want to pay for. We always go to the calendar. And this put is, it I'm going to have to take vacation for this. Cancel. All this. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I think, I need I, I think the duplicates days. alone is, uh, you know, is the takeaway for you, Prisbal. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Oh, we got work to do. All right. Thanks a lot, Steve. Good to see you.